From New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, the one and only Judge Judy is here for the first time. And Lucky Magazine shows us fall's hottest fashion accessories. Plus, the nasty feud between Snoop Dogg and Iggy Azalea. Wendy breaks it down. Now, here's Wendy. To, to deliver the goods, let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Lip gloss on. Hey, Doug, do you have a tissue? Yeah. I'm not wiping my teeth anymore with my fingers. Ebola. Oh. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you something. I am paranoid. And I was speaking to a... Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> I was speaking to a doctor friend of mine yesterday because I'm to the point now where this is day number four of me not shaking hands. Not because I'm impolite, but because we don't know how this stuff is being spread. So I'm not even fist bumping. <laughs> A wall. Anyway, she said she hasn't shaken hands in years on account of she is a doctor and she knows how things spread. So if you feel weird about not shaking people's hands, it's not weird. It's normal. Anyway, so yesterday, um, after I got home from the show, my friend Regina in California called me and she told me that Russell Brand was on Howard Stern and Howard, well, take a look. <laughs> is there anyone that you watch on TV or in the movies and you say, that would be a good woman for me? I like that woman, she's called something like Whitney something kind of other. She's a black woman, she does a daytime TV show. Whitney Whiting, she's a black woman. She's... Whitney Whiting? I don't know, something like that. She's a black woman, she does daytime TV. You Whitney... want her? Is that her name? Whitney Whiting? Wendy Williams? Yes! You want Wendy Williams? She's a white <laughs> That's a lot of women to take. Really? I know Wendy Williams. How would you give me a chance and I can handle it? First of all, she's a married woman. Fair enough. I'll, all let, right. it I'll <laughs> let it go. I don't want to break up with that marriage. That's over. She's, if she's happy, I'll, I'll have to let go of Wendy. I didn't think she was your type. I love it. <laughs> I didn't think I was his type either. But, you know, I'm a married woman, but I'm not dead. And I take my, I take my love however I can get it. Thank you. I'm very flattered. Thank you, Russell. Russell, you know, we've never met before. I understand you're in New York. You're promoting a book. Why don't you come over? We're in Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm sure by now you've heard the story of Snoop going in on Iggy Azalea on Instagram. It's tar terrible. It's time for our celebrity fight of the day. Hit it. <laughs> okay, so Snoop posted a series of pictures and videos on his Instagram bashing Iggy Azalea. Snoop said that Iggy isn't a real rapper like Nicki Minaj. For the thousandth time, this is what you call hate because she's white, hate because she's not from America, and hate because she bought what a lot of girls are born with, and that's a big booty. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I totally get it, but, you know, Snoop and everybody who hates on this girl, get over it. Honestly. Um, and then he went on to use an old joke that I've already seen on Instagram where he's comparing her to the Wayans Brothers' white chicks. Look, look. Which, which actually, if you squint... I'm just saying. But, you know, like I was telling you yesterday, and I'll continue to say this, I don't think that Iggy is unattractive. I think that she's an odd beauty. You know, she used to model back in the day, and, you know, I, again, think that people are upset because she's a white girl winning in what some people think is a black game. Um, he also posted this shocking video. Just take a look, and we'll talk. Say, bitch. You with the wrong and your 
Better check you for what I do. You funky bitch. Yeah, you. <laughs> Um, okay. First of all, um, you know that Iggy has a black boyfriend, and so um, Snoop was telling her, have her N-word boyfriend check you. Um, he, th he then posted a picture with a gun. I thought that was way too offensive, so we're not showing that. Um, Snoop is a legend. I can't believe you would let some Johnny come new to the game pull you out of your character. Like, like... Iggy is on top of the charts, but she will never reach leg le legendary status. You always already see that. Like, she's good for one album and one year. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, no, I'm calling it the way it might be. I mean, you know, she came out of nowhere with the fancy song and, you know, so on and so forth. And I'm not hating on her. I like her. But she won't be around next year. Hey, Craig Mack. <laughs> um... um from the song Mad Flavor in Your Ear. Anyway, Snoop finally did apologize to Iggy yesterday, but apology too late. Apparently, T.I. ran interference, like, come on, you're like my brother, and she's like my sister, and you all don't fight like this. I just don't think Snoop should be fighting with any, you know, novices, new people, because that's... It, you're above that. Way, way above that. And, and also, way too old for that. And back in the day, we accepted misogynist, you know, language from Snoop because he was young and, you know, but now, you're an old man. <laughs> You've got kids older than Iggy Azalea. <laughs> You've got daughters. You shouldn't be speaking like that, Snoop. Out of the house, that is. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you can think what you want in your head. Halle Berry, everybody, is sick of paying child support to her ex, Gabriel Aubrey. Now, you know, he's the model from Canada. Remember, he was ordered to pay Gabriel $16,000 a month to support their daughter, Nala. Nala is six or seven years old. I don't want to show her a picture on account of Hallie is one of those celebrities who marches on Washington for the paparazzi to stay out of their business and everything. So, you know, and she's friend to the show, so I'm not going to show Nala. But Nala is adorable. Um, they have 50-50 custody. And now um, Hallie is claiming that Gabriel has stopped working altogether and is living entirely off her child support, $16,000 a month, which is like a little over $190,000 a year. She wants... Wait, now hold on now. You've got to be objective with your hate. Remember, we've spoken about this. Now, hold on. She wants it to be reduced to $3,000 a month. I think the shocking thing for most of us here, because most of us are women, is that, you know, we don't like to see a man take a woman's money. But, girls, if we expect to be bosses, then we've got to pay the cost. And sometimes that means paying a bum baby's father child support. I'm not... <laughs> and I'm not suggesting that Gabriel is a bum, because I'm trying to dissect this story this morning before coming out here and talking to you. I think that $16,000 a month is pretty accurate, considering Puffy is paying, like, $40,000 a month, you know, to... Comp like, like these, these wealthy men, they have to pay a lot of money for one or two children. So, you know, what, what's fair is fair. Hallie is worth, like, $100 million. You know, Gabriel was in an ad for Barney's back in the spring of 2014. But, you know, models, you know, you work, and then you don't work. And I think that probably what is... Look, I am not team... Um, Gabriel on this, but what is fair is fair. You know, first of the month comes, he says, <laughs> that, that pile of money. Uh, then I was thinking, well, $3,000 a month is not enough for Nala. Nala is used to being, I guess, like a princess, you know, and, and he has to... He has to be prepared to have that money when they go on vacation. When he takes his daughter on vacation, they're not staying at the Howard Johnsons. You know what I mean? Because that's not what Nala's used to. And, unfortunately, somewhere in there, Gabriel and, and Hallie weren't married, but I bet you a piece of that money is because the judge probably wanted him to be kept in the lifestyle in which he became accustomed when he was living and loving with Hallie. It's not right, it's not fair, but Hallie, thank God your show got picked up for a second season. Yeah. You know? You've got, you've got your man, Javier. You've got a second child. And just, you know, don't fight this mess, girl. And I know, one more beat to the story. 
she's probably upset because somewhere Gabriel has a young, vapid model girlfriend, and they're both spending Hallie's money. First of the month! <laughs> Have you heard about this, this thing with Kesha, uh, Kesha, the singer, and her producer? It's pretty disgusting. I don't know, I mean, these are allegations, so we don't know of anything to be true, but Kesha is suing her producer, Dr. Luke. Yeah, that's Dr. Luke. They say he's a very little man. <laughs> um, anyway, for claims that um, over the past 10 years, he's abused her physically, verbally, emotionally, and sexually. Dr. Luke is firing back with a countersuit. Now, apparently, Kesha only has one more year on her contract with him, so, you know, she... But she wants out now, and Kesha and her mom are close. She might be, like, Kesha's manager or something like that. Anyway, Dr. Luke is saying that Kesha and her mom are trying to extort him to let her out of her contract. Um, I don't know who to believe in this story, but Kesha was pretty graphic about some of the things that she... Is alleging. I mean, at one point she said that, you know, um, she felt like she was allegedly drugged and that she allegedly woke up um, um, in pain, sore, and that she didn't remember what happened last night. And you might, uh, I mean, and this guy, Dr. Luke, if you're not familiar with him, you are definitely familiar with his music. Dr. Luke produced Katy Perry, Teenage Dream, California, California Girls, and Dark Horse. He produced Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball and Party in the USA. You, you see where I'm going with this guy? He's a big deal. Kelly Clarkson, he produced since you've been gone. Rihanna, <laughs> where have you been? You, none of these la ladies have said anything, and I am watching this story very closely. I mean, these are some pretty bad allegations. If I were Dr. Luke, right now I would let her out of her contract just, just because how can you work together on music for the next year if... You, you, you know, you've been accused for, a, you know, a sexual abuse. And Kesha, I get that you want out of your contract, but um, I'm sorry to hear that this happened, allegedly. It's a weird story, right? Yeah. We'll be watching. Yeah. So, things are getting worse for Juicy Joe over in Jersey. And it's his own fault. He appeared in court yesterday, pleading guilty to having a fraudulent driver's license. Apparently, he used his brother's um, um, marriage license, passport, or something or another. You know, like in Jersey, you need six points of ID. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know about where you live, but in Jersey, you do. So he used his brother's stuff, and he had to go before the judge yesterday. Well, apparently, the judge pulled the gavel down and said... You're not allowed to drive for two years. Which, remember, Teresa goes in first for 15 months. So how is he going to get the girls to soccer practice? <laughs> I mean, you know, already he owes millions in, you know, in restitution, back taxes and stuff. I mean, he can call Uber, you know. <laughs> um, it's, it's terrible. How is he going to take care of the girls with no um, driver's license? And we in Jersey, I know, we're going to be looking for you driving, Joe. <laughs> And the second we see you driving, we're calling the cops. Yeah. Well, Joe is not handling all this stress very well at all. Look how he lost his cool just going into the courthouse before the judge put the gavel on the two years. Just watch this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's going in. Uh-huh, slow-mo. Watch this. Look at the guy with the glasses. The poor cameraman... He could have knocked his eye out, and then that would have been another bill. That camera could have fallen on the floor, Joe, and that could have been another bill. <laughs> you, Teresa, are you going to be like Phaedra and get a divorce when you come out? Oh. Just asking. <laughs> Horrible. Let's talk about Amber Rose. Oh. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> no, you got ready to make them clap, and then you, you felt my eyes on the back of your head, so you stopped. <laughs> And you left them to clap on their own. They don't give a damn. No, no. <laughs> oh, Amber, I'm going to tell the story anyway. <laughs> Amber Rose, you know, was newly single, and she's showing off her assets on Instagram. It's our hot shot of the day. Hit it. <laughs> That's a pretty nice booty. That's a nice one. I don't know. Did you look at her butt first or the hearts on her head first? <laughs>
Or, or the tattoo of Wiz Khalifa, which I'd spend less time on Instagram and more time getting this removed. <laughs> uh, but it's a nice butt as butts go. A lot of people on a line were comparing this picture to the Kim K picture. But how many, if, okay, but how else do you take a picture of yourself, you know, other than posing like that? Kim didn't invent that pic. Oh, God. I need to do something. <laughs> I need to do something. It's a nice butt as butts go. Yes, uh, Amber, yes. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about Beyonce's bangs. Because, look, we've all had bare, bad hair days. It's just very... <laughs> I'll tell you, in this picture right here, it doesn't even look like the bangs are part of the wig or the weave. They look, it looks like they're like clip-on bangs. And if it's a wig, it looks like she just maybe needs to pull it down a little bit. Like if she just pulls it down a little bit. I mean, still a very beautiful woman, but it's refreshing to know that even she can have a, a bad day. So, you know, you know with social media, People can't keep their opinions to themselves. Here's what they said about Beyonce. Everyone's outraged because Beyonce got super short bangs. I, for one, think Blue Ivy did a great job. <laughs> Another fan says, let's all have a prayer service for Beyonce's bangs. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you know, she's out. Apparently Jay doesn't like him either. He looks mean. <laughs> and he's got his, his fist is balled up. Um, no, but you know what? She's wearing them with a smile. And I think that people should feel comfortable in trying new things. Just trying new things sometimes. It doesn't always work. Listen, sometimes I sit in the house, I'll pull out a wig, and take the scissors to it, or, or start dyeing it or something, and then I'll put it on, and I'll want to maybe go over to Dunkin' Donuts or go get my nails done, like in our town, just to look at my reflection in the glass to figure out whether I like it or not to wear even more. I mean, she went way far out of the house with this one. <laughs> you're, only, you're only supposed to go like up to Walmart or something. You're not, you're not supposed to go out on the town with a brand new wig, but apparently she feels comfortable. They're over in London. We have another picture of her with the wig. Show the one with the, with the red checker. No, well, mm -mm, no, not that one. That one. And she looks cute there, right? It looks like she might've taken a little curling iron and beveled it under. <laughs> You know, she, she did something different with her lipstick and maybe a little flat iron on the side. They don't look great, but I'm just trying to make... I'm just trying to say something nice. Well, it looks like Zac Efron is off the market, if you care. Well, when last we talked about him, he was with uh, Michelle Rodriguez on that wealthy man's boat in Italy. Excuse me, yacht in Italy. <laughs> But most recently, he was spotted on vacation. There they are, Michelle and Zach. Re recently, he was spotted on vacation with another girl. Her name is Sammy Myro. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. It's nice to know he's down with the swirl, right? Yeah. Or, at the, ver at the very least, that, you know, he doesn't just box himself into one particular type. Um, now, this girl right here, she's smart. They say she speaks French. She was in the Junior Olympics on the gymnastics team. She worked um, in business development. S works, rather, in, so she's not an actress. Um, he likes, I guess, an exotic-looking woman. Michelle Rodriguez has the exotic. Um, Vanessa Hudgens had, has the exotic. There they are. Yeah, I guess if you're a plain old white girl from New York with blonde hair and blue eyes, you don't, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> Thank God for Brendan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's her <laughs> husband. <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, I wanted to... Th yes, thank you. Um, I wanted to remind you that I am um, telling jokes in New Jersey at NJ Pack. It's a room... There it is. <laughs> it's, uh... The theme of the night is, how you laughing? <laughs> and as you can see, my comedy girl, Lunell, is going to be there telling jokes. I have, um, I have Jonathan Martin, Pat Brown, Hadia Robinson, Mimi Sims, uh, DJ Qua, a Nork legend in music will be there. My DJ, DJ Booth. 
from the Wendy Williams show will be there with bells on. So go to wendyshow.com and get your tickets and I promise to make you laugh. We all do. We've got more great show for you today. Lucky Magazine is here with the hottest accessories for fall, but up next, I've been waiting for this moment for so long, the one and only Judge Judy is here. Don't go far. On an all new Wendy, we're laughing our way into the weekend with more all new hot topics. I'm gonna give you my opinion right off the bat. We loved her on Will and Grace. Now she's hitting the couch for the first time. Megan Mullally is here. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. I've been waiting for this moment for a very, very long time. This is a woman who's part of my life every day, at least once a day. She always says it like she means it on her number one rated Judge Judy show. Take a look. John, rise for the honorable Judge Judy Shineland. <laughs> you look terrific. So nice to find you. Yo, no, Mike. It's love. I just watched you back there. You're my sister. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. You're a little lady with a whole lot of personality. Well, I just watched you back there, and I don't hold a candle to you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's honesty. <laughs> That's honesty. Thank you, Judge. That's honesty. Uh, congratulations on 19 seasons of your fantastic show. I mean, I don't know about everybody else, but you come on a few different times here in New York. So whether I catch you in the afternoon or whether I catch you at 10 o'clock at night, it, you can get me practically every every hour of every yeah. day. I don't know how that happens, but it's, it's there all. So did you see that last clip that we did? Yes. You know, you were talking honestly about couples and stuff I was watching in the back. And that sort of presented an interesting scenario. That yes. Was, what it was about is, you know, the usual thing, people fighting over a guy, usually a worthless guy. You know, <laughs> usually somebody who you wouldn't really fight for unless you were desperate. Right. And women are so funny. They get angry with each other. The, the wife and the girlfriend, get ang or the two girlfriends, get angry with each other. Uh -huh. But nobody gets angry with the guy. Yes. I just find that so odd. That was that case, by the way. You know, that was, they were fighting, but they were fighting over this prize bull. You know, this prize <laughs> unemployed bull. You know, one of the things that I love about you is one particular phrase, and I live my life by it. Beauty fades. Dumb, Stupid dumb is forever. Is forever. Dumb is forever. <laughs> it's, it's so... And that was the name of your last book as well. Well, I wrote that book a few years ago, and it was a phrase, I think, that I got from my family. Yes. Because <laughs> they said that, you know, girls, when I was growing up, different from now, uh -huh. were either nurses, uh -huh. school teachers, housewives, or nothing. That was it. I mean, those, those were your choices. And... In my house, I was told you could be anything you wanted to be. Interesting. Uh, you can be a professor, you can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can be a senator. It's encouraged you, you. Right. Yes. And they said, you know, you're cute looking, not gorgeous. Cute looking. <laughs> you know, I was really, I was a get by girl in this book that I a wrote that we'll talk a about get later. Get by girl. <laughs> in, in this book that I wrote that we're going to talk about later, I said, when I was growing up, that my best friend, who's still my best friend, uh, was the pretty girl. And she had two other friends who were also the beautiful girls in school. And you know pretty much early on whether you're one of the beautiful girls. Nobody has to tell you, but you know <laughs> whether you're one of the beautiful girls. I wasn't. I was, I was a get-by girl. Uh, yes. So I figured, well, if I was a get-by girl, I would at least be a smart get-by yes. girl. Uh huh. And then in those years, you took IQ tests to go into either the seventh grade or the seven SP, which means that you skipped from oh. the seventh grade to the ninth grade. The smart kids oh. skipped that eighth grade, but you had to have a certain IQ. So we all took the IQ test, and I expected certainly. Well, not only didn't I have the best looks, but I got to do the eighth grade. <laughs> 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 so then I then then you sort of figure. Yeah. What do you do? 
You are very, it seems then, encouraging of women to um, be smart, of course, but, but use a little womanliness as well. Well, if you're talking about using all your assets, I absolutely um, believe all, using all your assets. That's what I mean. Yeah, using all your assets. There's nothing wrong. I'm, I'm shocked that you're that person. I'm shocked because I feel that way also. I, don't, I didn't say lay on your back to get a job. Oh. But, you know, uh, uh, Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Judge, um, you're one of the most recognized people in the world. Do, do you do regular things? Like, do you drive? I drive. I prefer to be driven, but yes, I do drive. Yes, you, you drive? I drive, mostly in Florida, because all the other old people in Florida drive. And, yes. And so, you know, you sort of feel comfortable driving. Um, I drive, I shop, you know, I occasionally go to the supermarket. Yes. You know, if we're out of maraschino cherries for the martinis or for the <laughs> Manhattans or if we're out of, you know, Bloody Mary mix. Yes, yes, I yes, and she's will fun. run over to the store <laughs> and pick something up. I do. And I now, do, do you watch TV? Like, do you watch The Housewives? Do you... Do you well, I'm not a big fan of reality television. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, and I know I'm going to get in big trouble. Don't write me letters. I don't read bad letters. <laughs> I don't like to watch train wrecks. Yes. And most of what reality is, is conflict train wrecks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It doesn't give me any pleasure. I would really much rather watch something that is a well-scripted... Like Scandal? I would watch Scandal. Yes. Uh, I watched... My husband and I got hooked on House of Cards, so we did one of those... Oh, we all like that, yeah! Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's brilliant. If you're going to spend your time, spend your time getting smarter. Yeah, gotcha. You know? don't, gotcha. Don't spend your time dumbing down your life. Spend your life getting smarter. Now, Judge Judy has been married to Jerry. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Judge Judy has been married to Jerry. Long time. And he is your biggest fan. He oh, watches you. you every day on his exercise bike. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry was, um, Jerry used to be, preside over the people's court. He did. So you're both judges, you're both very firm in your opinion. Uh, how are the arguments in you all's house? Um, usually at this point in our marriage, short-lived. <laughs> short-lived. My father had very good advice for Jerry when we got married. Uh -huh. He said, let me tell you how I live my life. I open my eyes in the morning and I look at my wife and I say, I'm sorry. That's a blanket for the day. Don't you remember I said, I'm sorry? There you go. I'm sorry. Yes. Um, okay, up next, Judge Judy's stepdaughter is going to join us. They're going to talk about a new project that they're working on together. And you know what? More delightful conversation with Judge Judy next. <laughs> Judge Judy, and we're joined by her stepdaughter, Nicole. Very nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Between Jerry and Judy, they have five children. Nicole is the youngest. And uh, how was that growing up with the judge? It was no joke. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, know you come home, you got to fall into line. But they're work hard, play hard type of people. Uh huh. Now, what about boys, like when you were dating? Yeah, you don't want to bring them home. <laughs> <laughs> you leave them outside. <laughs> Judge Judy, you're the real deal. All right, so, now, this book is called What Would Judy Say? And inside, there are a whole bunch of really great quotes and stories and things. What made you decide to write this book? Well, Judy was the primary author of the book, but she is an icon, and there's so much talk these days about women and women's leaders, and... She is the quintessential. You, you are. You're, you're tough, but you're also soft and pink. You know, you have a very... <laughs> like, like, I've seen you... Yeah, you can watch me every day. No. From four to five, you will find the soft pink underbelly. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no. Well, for instance, you tell women to have a backup plan, which, yay. Talk Back, about that. Well, backup... First of all, you're supposed to have a plan. Yes. <laughs> Let's try with a plan first. Backup plan is if the first plan doesn't work. And one of the things we talk about in the book is that if you put your life and view yourself as somebody else's, mm -hmm. I'm so-and-so's wife, mm -hmm. I'm so-and-so's mother, I'm so-and-so's daughter, and you haven't created a you, 
What happens when all those other things leave you? Yes. Your husband can leave you. Your children hopefully will grow up and fly away yes. and do their own thing. As will your grandchildren and your parents. If things go with progression of things, they will go before you. You will have nothing left. Yes. So you have to have a plan. A plan. First. And your plan is prepare yourself for life as a, as a whole person. You also, um, we've seen you in a bikini before. And, 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 we, and we know that you keep yourself physically fit and sexy for Jerry. And for me, that's the, that's, that's the soft pink part. Like, with all that hardness, you do enjoy a Bloody Mary and a bikini and taking care of your man, you know? Well, you know, it's interesting. Because that's true. It's a, it's a very good observation. You have a, a good, keen mind. Jerry and I keep ourselves in shape. I'm going to be 72 next week. <laughs> Jerry Scheinman, as trim as he is and muscular as he is and tight as he is, yes. he's going to be 81 on his next Look at that, look at that. Um, and we, we both know that if either one of us lets ourselves get flabby and slovenly uh -huh. out the door. Yes, no That's it. And That's true. Why would you want to do that, not only for yourself, but why? Your mate fell in love with you because they loved the way you looked. Why would you want to change that? It's so ridiculous. You and I have so much in common. It's unbelievable. All right. Also, you believe, like I believe, a woman should always have her own money. Oh, yes. Her own. I mean, you can mingle a little something, but always have your own over here. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's important to have your own money for a lot of reasons. I think it's more important to have your own money than his money. Yes. Because you always worry about spending, well, is he going to say, those are nice shoes, where did you get them, is that a new pair of shoes, is that a new belt, is that a new coat? Who wants to answer to somebody about what exactly. they spend? So, Judge, it was very, very nice to meet you. Don't be a stranger. Nicole, thank you so much for thank being here. You. Judge, I got you a little something, because I love you so much. Oh! oh my God. A blinged out gavel. Yeah. That's a blinged out gavel. Enjoy it in good health. Nicole, again, thank, thank you for thank coming you. here. Judge Judy and Nicole, their book is uh, called What Would Judy Say? It's free. Be the he is it? Yeah. Free. Go on whatwouldjudysay.com. Press the button. Oh. It will download into your iPad, iPhone, yeah. anything else. Perfect. I had no idea. All right. Get yours. Everybody in the studio audience, you've got yours. We're going to give it to you today. Up next, ask Wendy. Don't go far. Mondays give me life. All new hot topics, all through the hour. You won't complain if I give you more hot topics, will you? And I can't wait to tell you about the super juicy inside scoop. Pull up close to the TV. Boy, do I have a treat for you. Monday on an all-new Wendy. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I have something I want to share with you. Nine West is teaming up with Fashion Targets Breast Cancer to raise money. So there are a couple of ways you can help. For every $125 that you spend at Nine West until October 21st, they're going to donate $25. Or you can always upload a picture wearing blue shoes using the hashtag, or the hashtag right down here. And Nine West will donate $10, okay? Thank you, Nine West, for se sending me your special ones. Wait, hold on, I'm about to fall over. <laughs> you know, I don't do the audience in heels. Look, these are the Tatiana pumps. They're blue and they're beautiful. Thank you so much. Everyone in the studio audience today is going home with your very own pair just like these. Thank you, Nine West. Now it's time to ask Wendy. Come on. How you doing? How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Dion Trail. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> My husband and I have been married for eight months. I am a proud military wife, the Army. Good for you. And he's currently overseas. Yeah. And you know, I want to keep it spicy. You know, so I want to Don't say... Don't do it. No. <laughs> New pictures? <laughs> yes, I would like to send some new pictures, but I don't want to be on no one else's computer but his. Well, then why don't you take the picture with, like, a selfie, or wait, no, not with a selfie, no. with, oh, okay. how do you take a picture and, I don't know, you know what, a disposable camera, exactly, uh -uh. and then mail it to him. Mail it, but what if somebody else get it in the mail? Then don't do it. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> then, ha then have phone sex, like, <laughs> like back in the day. I, you know, I'll I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't trust it. Okay. All right, very Thank well. You. How you doing? How you doing? 
very well. Hi, Wendy. My name's Samantha. Uh, my ex-boyfriend and I broke up last month. We were together for over a year. We we're in a long-distance relationship, and the distance is really causing all of our problems. Uh -huh. He's not taking the breakup so well, and he still wants to be friends. Should I? Do you have kids no. together? No. And, and this has been broken up for a year? No, we broke up last month. Last month? Yeah. And he's not taking it well? No. Well, it, it, let him know <laughs> that this is the last time that you're going to answer his phone call. How about that? <laughs> or, or his text. This is the last time. And then you cut it off. You have to be really emphatic, you know? Yeah. By the way, your eyes are beautiful. Thank you. It's stunning, <laughs> stunning, stunning. We have time for one more? Oh, up next, everybody, Lucky Magazine is going to show us the hottest accessories for fall. Don't go far. It's so easy to get fabulous Wendy Show bling. Just go to wendyshow.com and click Shop Wendy. T-shirts, diva fans, and my favorite mugs, plus more. Are you shopping? Every outfit looks better with great accessories. So here from Lucky Magazine to show us the hottest fall trends is their style editor. Say hello to Laurel Pantene. Yeah. Hi, Laurel. Hi, how you doing, Wendy? How you doing, Laurel? <laughs> All right, let's get started. What is this? So our first trend is printed bags. Printed bags are great because it's a really easy way to pull together an otherwise kind of so-so outfit. Uh, we saw Nicole Scherzinger going through the airport with a cheetah bag. And even when she's in sweats, the cheetah bag pulls everything together and makes her look fresh. And if you're like me, you love to wear solids, mostly black, off TV. So uh, a bag like this is perfect. I love this one from BB. It's only $79. And it's, yeah, it's because it's in black and white. You can kind of wear it with everything. Nice. And it's big enough to throw your sneakers in so you don't have to carry, like, a hideous gym bag. Or I anything. like this one also. Yes, I love this bag. It's $34 from Misguided. It's a really? crossbody style, which is one of Lucky's style essentials that you can see in our special edition that's on stands now but the floral print is moody and romantic it's kind of edgy and early 90s grunge i, like I really it. like it i like it a lot all right life is so much easier with a fanny pack we've talked about it i know yeah fanny packs i know can be kind of a divisive topic i know you love your fanny <laughs> I, packs. I do sarah jessica parker loves them too she's got a great vintage chanel one and she wears it perfectly from day to night this one from Topshop, you can kind of wear like SJP Chanel. It's $44. It's sleek and minimal. It goes around your waist like a belt. It's not your dad's fanny right. pack. It's cool. These ones are from American Apparel, and I love them because they come in a million different colors and prints. How much are There's these? There's something for everyone. They're under $25, Perfect. so it's a really easy these way. Are good, these are good for the holidays. Yeah, for it's everyone. a great gift, and it's an easy way to try out the trend without committing too much. And a lot of people think that fanny packs are for older women. No, and not, not at all. I think they're super practical, and they're really chic. Yeah. Now, this right here, going out... Out. Yeah, going out, out. Statement clutches are great. Katy Perry loves them. You can always count on her to have fun with fashion. And that's what this trend is all about. It's all about not taking yourself too seriously and expressing yourself. This bag is from Dorothy Perkins. It's $35, and it's not just for nights where you're going out. It's when you're going out, out. It's for, like, and this one right big, here? serious nights out. I love that bag. That's probably my favorite thing on the table. It's $45 yeah. from Mod Cloth. You would never think that a French fry bag would be chic, but actually, Jeremy Scott at Moschino did a whole collection that was inspired by McDonald's. We see. You've seen. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy and weird. It's a little bit unexpected, but it's totally cute, and it's super on trend, and it's really affordable. And when you're not using it as a bag, you can throw it inside and have a bag. Or you could stuff it with french fries. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now what are the, what's going on here? Yeah, so crazy cat eye sunglasses are our next trend, which I know you also love. I love, I love your embellished yes. ones. They're really flattering on almost every face shape, and they come in a million different colors and styles. This pair is from Nasty Gal. I love the metal. It's very chic. These are like cool, cool girl shades. You know, they're only $40, so... You know, they're great, and they're, they'll take you through fall and winter. I think sunglasses are an accessory that you need kind of year-round. And round. with cat eye particularly, what I like about them is that when you're not wearing them and you put them on your uh, on top of your head, they give your hair a yes. point of interest. Yeah, they're classic the cat, and the cat super part. sexy. Yeah. They're the best. Yeah. My favorite tape. Okay, hats. Yes. Um, so I love hats. Uh, Megan Good looks like such a babe in hers. If she can't convince you to wear one, really nobody can. Uh -huh. I love this one from Bloomingdale's. The raspberry color is great. It's $68. The feather trim is cute, and I love the wide brim, but it's not so overwhelmingly mm -hmm. boho that it looks costumey. It's very Beyonce wearable. Beyonce likes to wear hats also. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. hats are great. If you can pull off a hat, I think you should wear a hat every day. Well, there you have it. Laurel, thank you so much. Thank a you table so full much. of juiciness. This is your fall accessory stuff, girls. Be sure to pick up your copy of Lucky Magazines. It's on newsstand right now. And uh, go to wendyshow.com for more information about all this stuff. Eye candy is next. <laughs> comedy show. I'm performing um, by myself for 70 minutes at the Venetian Hotel in Vegas. It's Halloween night, October 31st and November 1st. Funny conversations, including cursing. <laughs> Go to wendyshow.com and get your tickets and I'll see you in Vegas. Now it's time to reveal our audience eye candy of the day. Uh, you know I have a very fashionable audience, but I only, I only have one almost legendary diva fan to give away. So drum roll, please. Today's audience eye candy winner is Beth Waterman. Come on down. I love this. Say, say, say. Becky, Hi, Wendy. Uh -uh. <laughs> How you doing, Beth? How you doing? So you're from Miami, huh? Yeah. And um, tell me about your outfit. So my outfit is Turn from uh, primarily Forever 21. The dress was $25. Shoes were 15 Shoot. And the tights were about five bucks. Perfect. Oh, 21. For, thank you so yeah. much for being here, thank Beth. You. Here's your diva fan, and everybody, we'll be right back. Ron, Judge Judy, you are a legend. Thank you so much for being here. And of course, your stepdaughter, Nicole. Laura Pantine from Lucky Magazine, thank you so much for sharing. And my co host, my wonderful studio audience, yeah. couldn't do the show without them. Tomorrow, we love her on Will and Grace. Megan Mullally is here, plus, another deserving breast cancer survivor is going to get a fabulous head to toe makeover. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time right here on Wendy. Bye. Yeah.